Joyce and Mark, we're here today live at Olympia Skate Court where helmets are, quote, strongly recommended for bikers or skateboard riders. And that's the same recommendation you'll find up at Green Lake where Aiden Schellings, that 19-year-old, crashed and nearly died back in April. He was not wearing a helmet. Luckily, he is making some progress at the hospital, as we told you about last night. We're going to share some photos from the family that may be disturbing to some folks, but the family wants people to see those to help change the culture around helmets and skateboards and it appears to be working. Here we go. Where's your elbow pad? Every day of summer break. On your mark, get set, go. You'll Drop. find Marshall Reed surrounded by little skaters at Seattle's All Together Skate Park. <laughs> there you go. I think he might be three and a half years old. Let's see it, buddy. Yeah, drop in. There we go. These campers are fearless, but under the rules, they have to wear helmets. People are under this now, illusion five. that once you get good, you just take the helmet off. That's exactly what 19-year-old Aiden Schellings did in April when he fractured his skull at the Green Lake Skate Park. That's the skateboarding culture. Unlike skiers and snowboarders, the vast majority of adult skaters do not protect their heads, especially the pros. Some battle wounds are kind of cool, but the, you know, missing half your skull is not cool. Yeah. Pound it. Uh. Nice. The crash nearly cost Aiden everything. Good. Doctors Good in job. Seattle told the family he might not walk, talk, or even get out of bed again. Oh, man. But three months later, he's up and around with some help. And therapists at a specialty hospital in Colorado have found his speech is improving through singing. But the family knows Aiden will never be the same because he chose to not wear a helmet. And what they're not realizing, and I don't think Aiden realized or anyone who is in this situation realizes is what an impact it has on the family and what an impact it has on the rest of their lives. And his story is having an impact back home. If you don't get hurt when you're skating, it doesn't really, it like, it means that you're not really trying enough. Ten-year-old Bowden Johnson. I mean, I've had this helmet since probably 2011. Has friends who don't wear helmets. The people who don't skate with helmets, they think that they're cool. I mean, it's not really cool if you're getting hurt. Bowden doesn't know Aiden but he heard about the crash. My mom told me and she was like, come watch this. And it was like, oh geez, like that really sucks. He says he'll never leave his helmet behind, even when he gets older and his buddies give him a hard time. I'd rather be called a scaredy cat than not be able to walk and talk for at least a month. Max, come here. Do me a favor, you gotta go put some elbow pads on. For skate park manager, Marshall Reed. See, it's an all day job. Get them, get them to keep their pads on. Safety's a priority for his young skaters. We keep the people padded up until they're old enough to make that decision on their own. That means everyone under 18 has to wear a helmet. But we had to ask, no. why not the adults? Probably go out of business. So that's an example of the culture, especially when it comes to adults. They just don't want to wear the helmets. But here we've got a, a young man who is wearing a helmet. So uh, obviously we're not saying that everybody is ignoring uh, what some people are calling these strong recommendations, but obviously there are some folks who, who do. Coming up tomorrow night, we are going to hear from one of the rare examples of a professional skateboarder who does wear a helmet. He is 23 years old. He says he gets a lot of gruff for wearing a helmet. He says he likely would even make more money if he would agree to skate without a helmet. Wow. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, 